It can be very helpful when you're selling to have a basic sales structure to stick to, a sort of step-by-step -step process to follow. The one I use is six steps and it's very loosely based on the spin selling philosophy, which you're very welcome to check out if you wish. Some people have slightly different structures and they might use five steps or nine steps. It doesn't really matter, but what you do need is a structure. So let's go through it stage by stage. Step one, situation. You need to find out about your customer now. What is their reality now? What do they do? How many people work there? What are they trying to achieve? And this is the basis of everything else. So spend loads of time asking them lots of open questions at this stage. Stage two, problems. This is all about finding out what issues they're facing now. What things are causing them difficulties? What things would they like to change? And it doesn't just have to be about problems. It could well be that they have goals that they want to reach as well. So try and find out a little bit about their problems and their goals. The third step is to offer a solution. Now, it might sound strange, but you don't necessarily want to offer a detailed solution to every customer at this stage. It could potentially just be an outline solution because you need to go away and get a lot more detail to it. But nevertheless, you will outline a solution. The fourth stage is talking about the benefits of the solution that you're going to offer. So it's not enough to say, I will do A, B, C. You have to say, well, the benefits of A is this, and the benefits of B is this, and the benefits of C is this. Because then it really ramps at home to the customer how your solution will help fix the problems that they've already identified to you. The fifth stage is potentially objections. So they say, well, yes, I like it, but I'm not happy about this, or perhaps the price is too high, or they come up with uh, some other type of objection. And at that stage, you have to know how to overcome objections, and usually it's by referring back to the benefits of what you're offering. And then finally, the last stage is the close, the bit where you ask for the sale. That structure will hold you in good stead in pretty much every selling situation, whether it's a short cycle or a long cycle. So try and get used to using a structure and it'll make a real difference to your sales success. Good luck.